Yeah, I think, uh, you know, this time of year, um, you, you really have to have good leaders in practice. Because practice is important. You know, freshmen, most freshmen have no clue what it means to uh, know how to practice. And for people that don't understand that, then, you know, you just don't know what you don't know. But um, when I say they have no clue how to practice, I mean in every sense of the word no and every sense of the word clue. But they have no idea of the intensity level and how hard you have to play every possession uh, just to get where you can compete at this level. Um, but that being said, I just thought Thursday, Friday, Saturday were three of our best practices all year. And that tells you where this team has grown. You know, we've learned how to practice. Uh, and um, when you learn how to practice, that, that gives you a chance to uh, have great carryover in games. You know, if you've got a bunch of kids that uh, soft, you know, try to uh, go easy or don't want to play hard in practice and then flip it on for games, you're not going to win with those kids. I don't care how talented they are. There's a lot of talented teams in America that are losing. Um, so uh, if, if all you have is talent, that's not good enough. You, you gotta have talent and toughness and, and, and a culture that um, uh, permeates um, throughout every kid in this program, and that's what we have. Coach, how good would you say the defense was in this game? Uh, at times, you know, we have a scouting report. So we're trying to take, usually you're trying to take something away. You know, they hurt us um, uh, all their big wins. You know, they won at Temple. They beat SMU at home. Um, I mean, they've had some good wins. But they, they hurt you but by posting our guards. And, and we worked hard on that uh, um, the last three days. We worked hard on that uh, at, at uh, 11.45 this morning. You know, so we, we were prepared. You know, we, when, we, when we're prepared, and our kids come with the right mindset, and, uh, um, and we can guard. You know? If you can defend and you can rebound, uh, those two things always give you a chance, and those are the things that we uh, focus on the most. And how good would you say the balance on offense was? Yeah, I mean, uh, I usually don't really look at these stats a whole lot, but I just noticed that Rob had uh, eight points. Rob could have 28. I could say, Rob, go score. You know what Rob did? He, he moved the ball more than he's moved it all year. He could have scored. You know, don't judge Rob on how many points he scores. Because I told him, don't judge yourself on that. That's unfair to you. You're too good a basketball player to be just a scorer. You know, somebody said, well, what happened to Gray? He only scored eight points. Well, you, and when, when people are saying that, that's when you got to let stuff go in one ear and out the other. Man. Just play basketball the right way. Make the right play. Of all the things that Damian Dotson learned in this program, that was it. He learned how to make the right play. Shoot when you should shoot, pass when you should pass. Don't force bad shots, you know. Um, what did we shoot from the three tonight? Eight for 20, 20? We could have shot 16 for 25 tonight. How many open shots we had? Every time our court, Corey had more open shots, what was Corey tonight? He could have two for eight. He had six wide open shots he missed. So our, our uh, we got good shots all night. We didn't make them all, but we got good shots. And uh, I thought our offense moved the ball. We didn't make a lot of shots tonight, but our our, our, our sharing, uh, our selfishness, our ball, ball movement was good. And I think Rob sets the tone with that. You know, in the last two games, Armani on the, on the rebounding side of it, that has normally at least stats been his field since he's been here, but is that is there something different in practices or something you've told him, or is he just kind of more on the defense? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I talk to these guys all the time. Um, I had a group meeting. Um, I don't think Rob was in it. I think it was uh, I think it was Wes and Armani and some of these days. And we, we we talk about rebounding a lot. We watch edits on rebounding. We rebound is a big part of our program. I mean, we were plus nine on the boards tonight. Um, you know, Armani's a good rebounder, uh, but like most kids, they don't under they didn't understand that they were good at it until they got somewhere where it was a point of emphasis. And then they realized that uh, here's what it takes to be a good rebounder. Uh, if, if you get 10 defensive boards, that means you probably went after 17. You know, if you get two, that means you probably went after five. You don't have to be a rocket science to figure out why he's rebounding. How soon will you focus on the next game? 
a little baked on it. Um, uh, I I didn't even. What, what uh, I'm sure they beat. I mean, they said we had a bunch of injuries. Like thirty of them. Yeah. So, but I, but somebody yeah. said Shaq wanted to play. So I said you only had six guys. So the score was irrelevant. You know. Um, um, you know, we've already played them once. So it's not like we have to go study them hard. Uh, they're not a hard team to prepare for. They're just a they're just a monster to play against. You know, it's not like they 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 try to trick you with all this fancy stuff. You know, they just line up and they got about a hundred mile an hour fastball and just got movement on it. They say hit it. How will you, how will you prepare for the Cincinnati game? They're same 23. way we say prepare every game. We don't have different ways to prepare. You know, we uh, uh, I don't know which one of the assistants. I can't remember who has the scout report, but uh, this game will be a big game to a lot of people outside our program. But for us, we've played them. It's another conference game. Um, you know, we're not going to make this game any bigger than our next game. Anything else? Thank you very much.